Hello YouTube. Roll up to the desk here. I'll show you what I got going on. This is the Hobby King Mobius Gimbal kit. It comes as a kit. And as you can see, I've got the uh, this panel right here flipped out. It's supposed to be these two tabs and these two slots. But in order to use the FPV cable, which you can see right there, you need to move it forward so that it can work like that. So anyways, Mobius Gimbal, uh, FPV setup. There's a ton of videos showing you how to do that. Uh, got the cable out. And what I've done, I've created this monstrosity right here. This is just shit I've made from uh, YouTube, or sorry, a GoPro mount. Let me get that where you can see it. It's a simple GoPro mount with a quarter inch nut adapter on the bottom. These are three cheap, generic uh, 450 uh, landing gear skids, legs, whatever. This is a power distribution board, small PDB with a 5 volt and a 12 volt back. I needed the 5 volt, sorry, this is adds a 12 volt to power the gimbal. And on the other side, I've got the 5 volt, which comes out right here to power the Mobius. I hate charging batteries. I like to just plug it in. Anyways, my plan is, and I've already tested this to make sure it works and will carry the weight and everything, but I'm streamlining, trying to streamline this. I had a big fat back hanging off a board back here and a bunch of other stuff. You can see a picture of it on my uh, Dual Rates Instagram. But uh, I'm trying to streamline all of this because what happens is, and I know this is ridiculous, my vortex na, 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 clips on right there so my whole plan was i wanted a small lightweight gimbal that the vortex could carry so that i could use the vortex to get some aerial videography shots with the mobius so i still want to be able to fly my vortex without all this gimbal shit and have fun with it and be reckless but uh so in order to do that the only addition i've made is this uh, stick-on GoPro mount plate. That's the only permanent addition to the Vortex. Yes, when you sit it down, it rocks, but that doesn't bother me. I always launch from grass anyways when I'm flying uh, my Vortex. Uh, and then the other addition is this cable right here, which goes in line with the battery and sends power down to this distribution board right there. So basically, in a nutshell, I've got a clip-on gimbal with legs, uh, uh, its own independent. This is what I'm hooking up right now. I'm getting all this wired up. I think this is just the cheap Boss Cam uh, TS-832. It's going to mount right here with the uh, antenna going down. So it's all nice and tidy, up in one thing. It clips on. It plugs in with one wire, this one right here. Uh, maybe two. Uh, I was thinking about running another lead down uh, for the uh, uh, gimbal control to uh, be able to control the pitch with my uh, controller. So just a quick breakdown of what's happening here. I've got uh, my mains power in. I fly 4S on the Vortex. So that can take 3 or 4S in. Uh, 3S kind of defeats the purpose of the 12 volt back, but that's what it is. I haven't tried it yet, but I don't plan on flying 3S on this thing. So what's happening is I've got uh, my 4S in to this power dis distribution board, and it sends 4S out to this connector that connects to the uh, AV transmitter uh, right there. Uh, pretty cut and dry. I think I've already said I got 12 volts to the gimbal, 5 volts to the Mobius. And then my lines out here are it's 5 volt out to the Mobius. This is video in, sending it to the transmitter. Pretty cut and dry, simple stuff. If you've done any kind of build, you already know this. Okay, so now the question I'm sure everyone will have is how much does all this weigh? Because it's a vortex that's going to carry it. Let's sit it on the scale and find out. Four hundred and two grams. Okay, so compared to a GoPro, this is a Hero Three Black Specs. Looks like camera with battery seventy six grams. So this weighs as much as 
five, almost five GoPros. It's pretty heavy. But I've flown it in a different configuration than this, and it actually flew quite well. Uh, center of stick is hover, and uh, you know I don't plan on whipping the thing around, so I guess we'll find out if my ESCs blow up. Okay, so here's proof of concept. I've just got a battery up top where the vortex is going to go. It's got one uh, JST connector going down there. That's the only thing powering this whole rig. Let's pick it up. The gimbal is working just fine. I had to extend one of the cables. I still haven't cleaned anything up yet. I had to extend this cable because I bumped the uh, pitch roll out. But this is it. It's proof of concept. It's uh, working right there. Boom. That, there's the camera. Sweet. So I could clip this on right now and go fly, but I'm going to tidy things up a little bit. Okay, so she survived with no major injury. You still see some grass jammed up in the front from where I took a nosedive. By no means the first nosedive this Vortex has ever seen. But I do want to point out, one of the benefits of this style of build is this. If it takes an impact, the GoPro mount gives. And then also, if you look right up, there you see I've got a nylon nut on a steel <clears throat> excuse me on a steel standoff and that was one designed failure point where if the gimbal takes a good shock at any from any angle there are only two of those nylon nuts holding the gimbal on I did pop one of those nuts off in the crash and that was it so I'm really happy with the way because that wasn't the first time I actually crashed it twice while I was shooting that little backyard video. Uh, and if you're wondering why, why would I go to all this trouble? I mean, there are other options and other ways to do it. Basically, this this is the case for my big Terra <coughs> 650 quad. And uh, you know, I keep my charging case in there, my goggles, everything I need is in that case. Well, as you can see, the case is huge and uh, you know, for doing serious filming, that's awesome. But something just to keep in my uh, vehicle, to keep with me through the day. I've got this case. This case actually fits in a, a carry-on uh, on a plane. So I can just jump on a plane, no extra fees to carry this monstrosity. And I've got everything I need in here to, uh, you know, do what I gotta do. So the whole point is, I built this so I didn't have to drag this around. Are there better ways to do it? You bet. But I thought it'd be fun. And I don't know that I've ever seen anyone else put a gimbal on a Vortex. So there you go. Thanks for watching.